Hello everybody, welcome to the shop. It's a unseasonably warm January day. It's uh, even right now in the evening, it's probably about 50 degrees, maybe 45. So I took the opportunity to pressure wash some of my oil field engine parts and I wanted to show you how well they came out with the nozzle I made. So here's the nozzle I made. It's just uh, some quarter inch NPT pipe fittings. The nozzle on my pressure washer wand is a quarter inch NPT so I just took off the original nozzle and made this. The original nozzle is way too fat to get in inside the water jacket and blast everything out so that's why I made this. And I bought a 45 degree angle and a 90 degree so I can get around all the corners. Put a plug in there and I drilled the plug through with a number 56 drill and it, that number 56 worked really well for me. I drilled a little bit of the way down from this side and then from the back side I drilled in with a larger drill bit so my thinking is that it would r reduce the resistance to flow because if the water had to flow through that long skinny hole through this entire plug it might reduce the pressure or the velocity of the water a little bit. I don't know if it made much of a difference but that's just what I did. Now I know it's getting a little dark outside but take a look in there. Look how clean that is. This cylinder has never been more clean since probably the day it was made. And that little bit of junk you see in there, you might think that's carbon or whatever, that's actually just sand casting gunk. It's uh, hard, it, it doesn't come off. Here's the back of the cylinder, here's the transfer, or not the transfer ports, but the intake ports on the inside of the cylinder. See there, nice and clean. I also did the head. This is where that 90 degree and 45 degree elbow really helped because I could put the nozzle in here, but it would go in and bend down and then shoot down into this area of the head where, of course, there's a water jacket, but you can't reach that with your fingers or with a just a, a pick or something. So that cleaned all the, uh, the rust out nicely. You can see in there, just nice clean and you know it, it's rusty but all the scale is gone. I did the same to my Bovard and Sea Fang head. This head still does need some help. The uh, like I showed in one of my previous videos the one or two of these water jacket holes is plugged with hard water residue just uh, like minerals and stuff. I, I chiseled it out so you can't see it but the uh, it, it's still plugged. And lastly, I blasted out the water jacket on the uh, Bovard and Seafang engine itself, on, or the cylinder. Let's see if I can get you a shot in there. Now, I, I blew this out as well as I could, but let's see. Oh, wow, that, that zooms in pretty well. There's still all that scale. It's like barnacles of shit in there. Look at all that crap in there. That's all, that's all hard. That's not goo. That's, that's like rocks. Now, this water jacket... Uh, hole here is an example of the plugged uh, uh, through hole due to hard water mineral deposits. So I'm going to have to chisel that out and soak it with something. I think I'm going to have to soak the whole cylinder with some sort of uh, uh, boiler descaler. I think that'll, that'll help clear all that crap out. But take a look at what fell out from the bottom of the water jacket. Look at that pile of stuff. They're just like chunks of Here's a better close-up of, of that stuff that's on the surface of the, on the inside surface. Look how nasty that looks. I don't know what that stuff is. Hard water and grime and rust and everything. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I am quite happy with the progress I made today. I was absolutely soaking wet. I should have put my raincoat on to do this, but I was, I was soaked, so I had to change my clothes and come back out here and make this video. But I'm, I'm really excited I had a nice warm day to do this. So now this cylinder can go back on my engine, which is sitting over there. And I can start putting, putting a couple things together and start pouring some Babbitt bearings and all that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you need to pressure wash something, keep that in mind. Keep that little nozzle I made in mind. It works really well for me. I have a... I don't know, probably 3,000 PSI pressure washer. It has 11 horse uh, motor on it, and it, it has tons of power. You have to really fight to keep the thing from 
from recoiling on you so it really has a lot of power to blast all this scale off so that's it thanks for watching make sure to uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this hit the like button and one last thing to my viewers out there every once in a while just you know if you don't mind make sure to uh, click one of my ads or, or watch it all the way through and uh, that that helps me it, it gets me a little bit of money in the pocket so I can work on projects like this for you guys and it's it's no money out of your pocket which is the great thing just just a little click on an ad here and there and it, it it supports me it supports the channel and it allows me to make more videos so I can show them to you because I really enjoy making these videos for you guys to watch and it, it's great it's a really cool community we have that uh, a lot, so many people that I've, I've, I've never met or seen in my life, and most of these people I'll, I'll never meet, but, you know, we, we can all work together and give each other suggestions for our projects or, or feedback or ideas. or you know, it, it's, a, it's a great exchange of, of information and everything. So, so anyway, so let's keep a good thing going. So anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.